Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. So today I want to go a little bit more in depth on the DMR setup within WPSD. That is the uh, alternative to PyStar for your digital hotspot radio needs. I would call it a replacement because it's much more updated and current than PyStar, but I want to be clear, PyStar still works just fine. Absolutely just fine. I happen to like this a lot better because I like the interface and the way it's laid out a good bit better than I like PyStar. So what I wanted to look at is the DMR setup. In my last video where we went over WPSD, we didn't really talk about DMR other than there it is, let's turn it on and let's move on. So I wanna go a little bit more in depth on the DMR setup. I'm in my DMR hotspot here, as you can see up on the screen. I wanna go through some of the setup. So let's jump into this thing. We need to log in. And this is on older hardware. I think this is an original Pi Zero. It's a little slow. It might be a three, I don't know, but it works and I just haven't gotten around to updating it. I probably will update it to a Zero Two W at some point. You can see here, our basic DMR setup, we're connected to Brandmeister 3102 is our DMR master. And we get a couple different things when we have DMR set up. And this is what I wanted to share with you guys. So if we go to our DMR network manager over here, and this is all under the admin page, we're not even going to config. You can see we have some DMR network choices over here. Now, the only DMR master I'm hooked up to, the only DMR network I'm hooked up to at this point is Brandmeister. So that's the only choice I get. If you were connected and set up for uh, TGIF or free DMR or some of the other DMR networks, you would have a drop down list of those networks. And from here, we can change or turn off whatever network we, we don't want or we do want, as the case may be. But what we get with DMR then is a specific manager for the network. And so you can see here, we have Brandmeister Manager. So if we go into Brandmeister Manager, we get a completely different menu. So now we are connected into the Brandmeister Manager. And this gives us some more information. So this shows that my hotspot here is currently connected on TG3192083, which is the Toads DMR talk group. And I'm on time slot two. I don't have any dynamic talk groups linked. You could do that if you want, and we're going to get right to how to do that. So down here under talk group management is where we set all that kind of stuff. Now, mine uh, is running on time slot two. This is a single radio hotspot. If you had two radios, you could play around with running two time slots. We're just going to do the time slot two. And here we can add or delete bulk, add or delete static talk groups. So if I had four or five or six talk groups, I wanted to link to this at one time, I could do it here and just type out a list. We can drop all statics or I can add in another static here. So let's say I want to add Alabama link. I type in Alabama links number. I click add and we've now added in Alabama link when it comes back. And you can see up here in the corner, we have a rotating dingus character. And it says success. And when it finishes updating the screen, it now shows that I have two talk groups that I'm statically linked to. And I could have dynamically linked to Alabama link and toads, whichever, it doesn't matter. So this is how you manage talk groups within DMR, specifically Brandmeister. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure the other networks would work pretty much the same way. So down here, if I decide I want to get rid of Alabama link, I just add it in time slot two, and I want to delete it, which is highlighted already. I click delete, add delete static, and it's going to delete that talk group out of my list of static talk groups. So that's how you add and delete a talk group out of your hotspot, a DMR talk group. I'd had a couple of people ask me questions about this. And the other reason where this comes in useful is if you're on a talk group, for example, that you're linked to, and there's a QSO going on that will not stop. If you're on something like America Link or, or any of the nationwide or worldwide talk groups, you can come in here through your PyStar and drop the group. You don't have to get a break in the middle. This will cut the group off and then you'll get out of it. So that you can do it that way. You can also, of course, do it through your radio, through DTMF tones, 
that's harder to do because the other side has to quit talking long enough for you to do that. So that is the basics of that. And you can see here, we have a separate TGIF manager. So if we go into our configuration on this guy, we can add in those other DMR networks, DMR mode. And again, once you set up DMR mode, then you get these other options. And these will not show up until you've turned on DMR mode up at the top of this screen, applied it, and then you come back and then you get these options. So you see down here, we have other options we can add. And I don't have um, any data on any of these networks. I've never actually used any of these um, to my recollection, but you can add all these other networks in and you can see you got a nice huge drop down. So we could add in free DMR, uh, DMR plus, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This works a little differently than um, the PyStar did. I think this interface makes a little more sense than the way PyStar does multiple DMR networks. Your mileage may vary. And of course you can also type. So if I wanted to look for something that was US specific, I could type USA and then I get DMR plus IPSC2 USA. I don't know any options. We're going to turn that on. We're going to apply changes. All right. So the Pi updated, the Raspberry Pi updated. And you can see now that we have two different uh, DMR networks that we're attached to. I didn't set an ESS ID. Uh, this is the only hotspot I have in this network. So that should be fine like that. And I don't have any specific options for this. You can also come down here and set System X settings, TGIF settings, and XLX settings. So we can connect to Toads this way as well, XLX 546, because it is an XLX master. And then we'd have three, but I'm going to skip all that because we don't need to see that. And the rest of this is the same thing that you've already seen, but now we have two networks. So if we go back to our admin page right here, and you'll see when we go to DMR Network Manager that we can change DMR networks now because we've added in DMR Plus. So I can come up here and say I want to disable Brandmeister. I think, let's, let's see if we can enable two at one time. Request change. And some functions in WPSD, and it's the same way in PyStar, some changes take a little bit longer than others. So now we should be connected to DMR Plus and Brandmeister at the same time. So we could disable Brandmeister. And you'll see Brandmeister is going to go away down here in the corner once we disable it. And BM3102 is disconnected. So that is how you manage multiple DMR networks. What's interesting is there's not really a manager specifically for some of these networks. So that's probably something we'll explore in another video, but I don't see that we have a specific manager for DMR plus. So it appears to just add it in. And if we go to the Brandmeister manager, so I have disconnected the Toads talk group from Brandmeister and it still shows that we're connected to DMR plus, but I don't see a specific manager for it. Down here on the bottom, these are the managers that are hot, that are active. Our admin main page, instant mode manager, which you can have all the modes on and then turn them on and off on the fly from this. It's kind of the same as going to the configuration page. I suspect it's a good bit faster. You have to initially have the modes enabled to use the instant mode manager. And on this, on this particular Raspberry Pi, the only mode I have turned on is DMR, but I could enable YSF and DSTAR, for example, and then turn them all on and off, pause them and resume them from in here without going through the config. So this is probably faster. It just stops the service quickly. So you can see we still have these. What's interesting is it doesn't tell us it's disabled, but I assume because of that orange that that means it is disabled. So let's re-enable 3102. Still reloading. It takes it a second. Yep. And it's not orange. It's not orange anymore. So that orange color obviously means it's disabled, but it's a, it is a listed network. So if we added in free DMR and some of those other ones, we'd see a list of longer DMR masters down here.
Guys, that's about all I have in this video. I wanted to share with you guys how the DMR stuff worked in here. If you would, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share this with your friends. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you should. And ring the little bell in the dingle thing below because that way you'll get notified whenever I post any new videos. It will straighten your spine. It will cause your hair to grow back and the allies will win the war. Y'all have a good day, 73.